<laughs> sport. Ah, <Yeah. laughs> uh, well, uh, first, sir, uh, want to say it's nice to finally meet you because I know I've been following you for a while. I uh, guess when I came on, I ran to a description of myself, which I had the most confused look. But it was like you were describing a dude like, well, he's about as he's about a, about the size of a linebacker, and I was like, yep. I walk into a description of myself. <laughs> <laughs> so you're so you might be kindred spirits. He wears bandanas too. Oh, good <laughs> lord! Oh, good grief! But hey, I'm not against that. But no. Um, aside from that, first I gotta give you your flowers, man. I you know like you, I like working with children. I like letting them know that it's okay to be themselves to 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 be nerdy to be geeky to be to express yourself to just because i that's my big thing because i have two i have two kids of my own he likes cory kenshin and i feel myself being like dave chappelle like who the hell is cory kenshin but it turns out he's an all right dude honestly um, the best person that your son could be watching frankly see, if i have to pick it. one streamer to leave their content on for a budding teenager i'd be like cory kenshin <laughs> That's it. Yeah, that's, yeah. yeah. as, a, as, a, as a parent, when you that's hear something fact. like that, the first thing you're going to be like is, what the hell are you watching? But you're exactly right, because I did get to watch a couple of his videos. I'm like, okay, you're, you're, you're exactly what these, the, what kids need. So when I see you going out and actually, you know, with your book, Weirdo, which again, I can't wait to read and be able to read with my kids. Um, I would just say, I guess the question I would have is, is just that as you were describing the fact of your process, uh, what you go through, what you're pulling from your life experiences, I guess my question would be just because what, what if there was as many mountains as you're trying to climb, what's the one, the distance that you just had that you have that is, I'm not going to say your piece of resistance, but it's going to be the one that you just have to be done. Like that's going to be the equal end of your purpose. Do you have a goal like that? Um, I wrote a film and TV treatment, or I wrote a film treatment for an animated film about a year and a half ago. Mm -hmm. um, and so normally for me, like how do I put it? Normally when I write, I don't spend... Like it takes on average, it takes me like a month to write a book. So like, if you don't bother me, I'm like, I like I'll outline it. And then I'm like, all right, the outline's done. I'm going to go write. You give me three weeks to write it at the end of week three, I send it to my agent. My agent's ready to grab it and edit, 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 give me notes. And then I take those notes and you give me a week to implement the notes and then we're done. And I go about my life because I write so many things. I'm like, I can't be like in writing all the time, but normally mm -hmm. I plan it. But this story, I didn't plan. It just landed in my heart and I like, I needed to write it. So I, I, I like pull, push everything off the table. Um, I was in my writing group talking about it. I was, um, I, I was like outlining, outlining, outlining. And I hadn't done an animated film script before. So I was like, I'm going to do the treatment. We're going to pitch it. And at the time I was signed with this film and TV agency um, that reps a lot of big A-list people. And I mm -hmm. called my manager and I was like, listen, I got this idea. I think it's really good. I think it's amazing. I think it's going to like change the world. Um, and I, I think a part of why I was so big on it is because in my head, it was a Disney movie. I was like, this is a Disney movie. This is one that they pour marketing into. When I go to Disney World, they're going to have a Skyliner cable car themed after these characters. <laughs> I'm going to see these characters standing in the park waving at kids and kids are going to line up with their parents and the line will be like out and around the corner just to get a picture with these characters. That's how, that's how like incensed I feel about this story and how universal it is and how necessary it is. Um, and I gave it to my film and TV manager uh, and he looked over it and was like, wow, this is great. No notes. I'm ready to sell this right now. And I go, cool. And a month goes by and I don't hear from him. And I call him. And we get on the phone and he goes, I love the script. Great story. Seems like it's really deep in animation. Animation's not really my thing. I feel like you should find somebody that works a little better with animation. And I was like, did you just, you just break up with me? Cause I gave you a good script. <laughs> what? <laughs> is that how this is supposed to go? Um, and it like, it, it, it like shook me a little bit because I'm like, I'm a, I'm a writer and I gave you a script and it's a script that you like, but it's going to require work to sell because it's animation and you don't want to do the work to sell it. So you're just going to drop me. And that feels weird because I thought that your job was to sell things. I don't understand. Yeah. Um, better get it, yeah. it, it, it kind of made me like curl into a ball a little bit, but mm -hmm. the, the, that's a, that's a long version of saying 
I still feel like that movie is a Disney movie. I feel mm. like that movie is like a Disney film animation. Like an Inside Out or Eternal yeah, Red like or something roll, like that. Roll, roll out the red carpet, commit the budget to it, promo it everywhere. Um, attraction at Disney World and Disneyland within five years of release. Like that's how strong I feel about this idea. Um, mm -hmm. And I'm going to make it happen. I think I think I I, I have like deep seated uh, desires for like all of my stories and where they can land, but I think that for that film in particular, that's the most ambitious because to me, I'm like, it's so good, I don't need to do anything else before I do it. Like if you think about it, some people like 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 think about Lin Manuel Miranda, right? Like he's writing everything. He's like music yeah. for Moana, music for Moana too. He's writing the music for Mufasa. I was like, I didn't even know Mufasa was gonna have music, but. I would not have called Lin Manuel Miranda. Like I don't hate Lin Manuel, Lin -Manuel Miranda. I got Hamilton memorized. I just I don't know. He wasn't on my list to call for, yeah. for the Mufasa movie. But who knows? I don't, maybe 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 I'm the one that's that's out of pocket here because I'm sure he's gonna show up with some heat. Um, but <laughs> uh, a lot of people when they get things of that scale, they got to do something else first, and it makes people go, "Oh, you're trustable. I believe in you. You have a bankable name." Then we'll, mm -hmm. I guess we'll, I guess we'll do this now. We'll give you this opportunity now. But I audaciously look myself in the mirror every day and say that my first foray into film writing is going to be like a flagship Disney film. Um, and I just believe that. I just, I just own that. Cause I think, cause I think I'm that good. You, you said it right there. You hit the nail right there on the head. Like mm -hmm. you believe it. You, you're owning it. You said, yeah. I, I want this now. Uh, I don't want to hear anything else. And mm -hmm. that's what I'm expecting it to be. So yeah, nice. to have that that level of confidence and belief, not just in yourself, but in what you're creating to put out in the world says volumes about your character. Mm -hmm. You know, Some people who don't understand or are a little closed minded, they say, oh, that's just, you, you know, you're being full of yourself. No, well, you can call it what you want, but I know this is going to be out there, you know, so yeah. not everybody can say that. Not everybody say that. Uh, when, you that, when you believe that much in your goal, I get it. I mean, that's a that that's what I was getting to. That's what I was asking about your prayer. You know, things that are close to us, we just we that's our that's our belief system. That's like this is going to get done, or this is going to get made, or this is gonna get produced. So I completely get where you're coming from on that. That's why I was like, I, I love hearing that type of fire because that hearing that type of fire pushes me to do things, and you know, that's the kind of camaraderie that again, in the blur community is heavily needed. Yeah. 